Hello students. Now we're going to be discussing bites and stings, namely snake bites and scorpion stings or insect stings. The thing that you need to remember is this very simple flow chart and this very simple table that I will provide you. First thing that you need to note is, is there a wound which is the fang marks? Is there a single or double puncture wound? What are the clinical features? Predominantly what system are they affecting? And are there any tests mentioned such as the 20 minute whole blood clotting or tap test? Now, please pay attention to this table, okay? Now notice in this table over here, what they've given is no puncture mark means most likely it's going to be a crate bite. Usually also they'll tell you that this was a presentation in the early morning and that the person is suffering from abdominal pain. Then we have neurological symptoms. This is predominantly seen in cobra and crate bite. What are those features? Usually ptosis and dysphagia. Then we have hematological. This is seen in viperine bites. What are these hematological features? Well, the clotting is affected. So therefore, the person will start bleeding from all orifices, including the puncture wounds where the snake has bitten. Then we have autonomic dysfunction. This is usually seen in terms of sweating, raised temperature and raised heart rate. This is seen in cases of scorpion sting. Then we have 20 minute whole blood clotting test. Now, if after 20 minutes, no clot has been formed, that means that the coagulation cascade has been affected. This is seen in viperine bite. And lastly, if you see a tap test, which is positive, where in which you tap the area where the puncture mark exists, the person gets into intractable pain. And that is called a positive test that is seen only in scorpion sting. I hope that this has been helpful.